you give more in class and you now sit down. How are you today? I'm great, sir. Boring. Hi. Hi. Oh, well, I see. Are you excited no. for you learning for this day? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's good. Well, class, today's discussion, we are talking about now. Sounds familiar, right? Yes. Yes, obviously. I know every one of you here are already know what is now. Because since your elementary level, we are, or you have, it has been uh, presented to you, introduced to you. Am I right? Yes, sir. Yes. So probably this would be a recall for the same topic. So I want you to listen carefully because after my discussion, I want to give you an example to you. Understood? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, stay put there. Okay, now. I know I have one of you already know what the definition is. Now it is a word that means a person, place, thing, or animals. Very good. Are you, you, men, men, well then, ara is considered a noun or no? A noun. Very good class. So, noun have four types of noun. The common noun, the proper noun, the abstract noun, the objective noun. If we say common noun, it refers to a represent any places, object, or idea that is not formally uh, named or not capitalized. However, if we say proper noun, it refers to a person, place, or object that is formally named and capitalized. Okay, what is the difference between common noun and proper noun? The difference between the common noun and the proper noun is the common noun, when it's talk about the common noun, it is not capitalized. And the proper noun is already capitalized. Okay, very good, Melvin. That's really good observation. And the third common, because you already know what is common noun, a proper noun, so let's proceed. Abstract noun. If you see abstract noun, it's an item that cannot be detected by sight or touch. They may affect your sense or smell, your imagination or thoughts or process. Understood? Well, collective noun is when the word present or represent a collection or group of objects or people. Okay, Maya Ara, can you differentiate what is abstract and collective noun? The difference between the abstract noun and collective noun, when you say abstract noun, it's senses, and while the collective noun is a group of people. Very good, Maya Ara. Let's give them a round of applause. Okay, for your father understandings about this type of noun, if we say common noun, just like what Melvin said, it uh, capitalized, or can name a person, a thing, or idea that is capitalized, not capitalized, while the proper noun is uh, capitalized and it uh, refers to a person, or name of a person, a thing, or idea. For example, sa, for example of a uh, proper noun, Susan. Melvin, Maya Ara, Prudential Address Company. While common noun it refers to room, a person, or a desk here. Well, the abstract noun, for example, the abstract noun is your emotion, love, music, wisdom. That is an abstract noun. Well, the collective noun is about the team, the faculty, or the family. So, understood? Yes, sir. So, how do you understand? Our lesson for today class. Yes, yes sir. sir. There's any clarification? Any violent reaction of the topic? None. 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 Okay, very good. So now class, give one for sheet of paper and write five examples. Each noun understood. I will give you 15 minutes to answer you because it's already time. Go? Yes, okay. sir. Let me now answer. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, glass, pass your paper in front, and you now walk. Okay, see you and God bless you guys. See you and God bless you, teacher Jenny. Good morning class, we're not sit down. Okay, how are you today? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, great. So, without further ado, let's get, this, uh, let's get started for our discussion today. Okay, yesterday we talked all about the variety of nouns. So, in this morning, I'm going to discuss about a new lesson, which is the degree of comparison. Before I will start my discussion, I want to show you a picture and you have to differentiate it. Okay? Okay, okay here. What is your observation with regards of this picture? Or the smallest, the largest, the largest. Smallest, the tallest. Or still, what's your observation? The smallest, the largest. stand up. Smallest, the largest. Okay? It's a? Trees. Trees. What's the difference between the trees? What? Tall, tall, short, taller, tall, and tallest. Very good. That's correct. Okay, I want to call the. Can you please stand up? And may R stand up? And Mr. Melvin, can you please stand up in front? I'm the tallest one. Okay. Now the tallest. Okay. Okay, Deb, what have you observed in these three your three classmates who are standing here? Can you please stand up? I'm the taller. Tall. Taller. Taller. Very good! Thank you for your participation and you may now sit down. Okay. <laughs> well, have you noticed why I'm asking you to differentiate earlier? Well, that's what I am doing today. We're discussing about the degree of comparison. Well, okay. Actually, if you say degree of comparison, it refers to uh, it is used to compare uh, one person or thing with the other person or the thing. So actually, there are three types of degree of comparison. The passive degree, degree, the comparative degree, degree, and the superlative degree. degree. Okay, let's first talk about the positive degree. From the word positive degree, positive degree, it's not mean that it's really positive. Okay? Yes. If we see positive degree, it use uh, when we speak about only one person or one. thing. For example, wrong is tall. Wrong is tall. What is uh, the describe about wrong? Tall. 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 So in that example, we are just um, merely describing only one person and that is wrong. Which is describing about his tall, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, the second example the house is big. The house is big. Okay, what is the positive degree about house or what is uh, the compare what house looks like? Big. big. Very good. In that example, the degree we are not comparing is that we are merely describing about the house. Okay, understood this positive degree? Yeah. Yes. Okay. The comparative degree. Okay, you see comparative from the word, from the root word. Okay. Compare. Compare. So you have to have person or thing. Very good, Ra. You have to compare two person. For example, <laughs> for example, the house is bigger than that one. I'm beautiful than wrong. Very good. Wow, again. So we can see that there are yeah. two. Let's make it serious. <laughs> Go. We can see that there are two trees, uh, two 
house that I compare to term bigger, there is comparative version of the term big. So another example. Oh. Uh, Okay. I don't get it from the wrong. Very good. It's a comparative decay. You are comparing your uh uh characteristics to someone else. But her opinion is not right. Why? She's not even beautiful. That's so offensive. Let's start that. Okay. Another example of the comparative decay. Melvin is more handsome than Ralph. So instead, we are using an ER uh, in comparing, we use more. Oh because there is an exemption in the word adjectives that is a highly restricted to put as a ER instead, or in comparing. Instead, we need to use the term more as it highlights comparative degree. Understand? Yes. yes. Okay, very good. Another last type of degree comparison. The superlative. Superlative degree. If we see superlative, uh, superlative degree, it is more than two. More than two uh, things or person that being compared. Compared. Okay, for example. Okay. Yes, okay.